The next querying tool we're going to talk about is using parameters. I'm going to give you an example of what these are. So let's create a query by clicking Create. We'll do it in Design View. We're going to just use the OSU data like we have before. Okay, so we can see. Now I'm going to just put the first initial, last name, and amount. Go ahead and sum it up so that we get the total amount spent by person. Now I can run this. and We've done queries like this before. You can quickly see here's all the names of the people and here's their amounts. Well say I want to find you know, all the people with last name Wood and see how much they've spent. I could manually sort through here and, and eventually come to them. I could come back here and type in a criteria and say it has to equal Wood and run it. And both of those work. Now the challenge is, is if every day I have to do this it's cumbersome to come back in here, delete this, and type in your next name, Smith, and run it. What if I could have a prompt so that when I open the query, it asked me what card last whole name I want to look up? To do that, you create a parameter query. You just enter an open bracket and say, enter a last name. Close bracket. Now when I click View or Run, it's going to say tell me the parameter value and I can enter in whatever I want for example wood and then it passes that information down to the criteria and there it runs it So I'll show you that again when I run this whatever I enter in here Smith it takes that value and substitutes it down here in criteria so that when I click OK it's going to filter and just show me the people with the last name of Smith now that works great, but what if we want to expand it? What if I don't know how to spell their last name? Um, so they might have a more complicated last name, or I want people who are Wood, Woodfield, or Woods. What you can do is you can type like, enter the last name, and then a star, and then an ampersand and a star. So now what this is going to do is it will take and replace whatever I type in here down here under enter last name and it's going to join it to the star operator meaning search for anything else so if I put wood in it's going to find anything that starts with wood wood all wood woods woodward etc now that works great what if I want wood to not necessarily be at the first so I want to find something like at wood then I can put the star and the and sign before so now it's going to give a wild card, any number of characters before and any number of characters after. So that when I click run, I can type in wood, run it, and notice I pick up Lockwood, Underwood, and Greenwood because those characters before are picked up by the ampersand. You can use all the other screening techniques to filter for this. Now where might this be very valuable? Instead of names, what if we put in the vendor? We'll delete the names and you want to know everything from Amazon but you're not sure how Amazon's listed so you can type like the the, uh, the, the star the asterisk and oops open bracket enter company name and close that then I could say I want everything from Amazon And you'll notice that sometimes it has things from Amazon Marketplace, Amazon Payments, Amazon eDocuments, or we have this thing that's a claim with Amazon in it or PayPal, whatever that means, NOZ Amazon. Uh, so that helps and is a way that you can use parameter queries. Again, for whatever you want to substitute in, you just put it in between the brackets, type the text that you want to see in the prompt, and away you go. When you run it, uh, if we do save this, we'll go ahead and save it just as query 111. And close it. When I double click to open it, it's going to have the prompt come up and I'm going to say Microsoft. See if anything was purchased from Microsoft. <clears throat> oh, and sure enough, you get Microsystems, Microsoft, Microscope, and all of those answers that fit the criteria.